These baits will help me land way more fish. Earlier this year, a new fish attractant called Bait Fuel dropped. It doesn't have a smell at all, and there are no worries about staining your clothes. Now there's a whole line of baits that are naturally infused with bait fuel. To test how effective these baits are, I'm going to do a 1v1v1 with my friends who are using regular baits, and the person who catches the largest fish wins. No way. No way. On the 8 inch worm. What? 6.14 a.m. in the morning. Your boy woke up at 4.30. That's how you know you're a summertime fisherman. But I've received a lot of comments lately about bringing back the yin tin, so good news for y'all. That's what we're doing today. Before we get started and launch at this super sketchy ramp, I'll show you guys later. Let me just share with you guys a quick verse from James 1.17. It's every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Okay, so what does that mean? Whether we catch a giant 10 pound bass or just land a seven inch dink, it's still a perfect gift from above, you know, whether I get smacked by these two boys and get completely demolished, I'm still gonna be happy with it. Praise God for whatever happens on the water today. Okay, now let me show you this ramp over here. Now the reason I'm a little freaked out is this is the first of its kind I've ever seen. This ramp, it looks deceiving at first. I would say this is like a good 40, 45 degree angle. It drops off, oh wait, there's a dead bass right there. If I catch this, does that count? Dude, just pick that up and take a picture with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna mess with that. But yeah, we're definitely not gonna launch the conventional way. This is about to get really interesting. What do I even do here, man? Look at how low that is riding. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Wow, it's almost touching the ground. We gotta support the weight of the boat from this way so it doesn't just like... Come on. That is not how you get the day started. Michael, your GoPro just fell in the water. Yeah, she hit waterproof anyway. Yeah, lift it and then just put it in the water. Like it's supposed to be. We lost any rods. <laughs> I'm gonna let them have the deck today. I'll just be chilling in the back because honestly, they'll probably be catching most of the fish anyways. Here we go. Woo! Hope there's no leaks in here. All right, so Hunter, why is this lake so near and dear to your heart? It doesn't disappoint. It's got a lot of quality and quantity of fish. It's all around a, just a good lake to fish. That's what I like to hear. So I got a whole bag of these bait fuel goodies. Now, early in the morning, I want to start out with something that can cover a lot of water. What are you guys starting out with? Starting with a popping frog. And I'm starting off with a traditional popping. All right, both top water. Unfortunately, I don't have any top waters with me, so I'm gonna start out this morning big. 7.75 inch megabop. We're gonna go with the Okeechobee crawl color right now. You're already hung. I'm stuck on the only stick out there. I'm gonna go ahead and Texas rig. This thing, these summer bass are usually pretty lazy, but if you put something this scrumptious in front of their face, they just cannot refuse it. Alrighty. Alrighty, we'll just swim it, I guess. So Hunter, was this where you caught your PB? Yep, right, right beside that. How big was it again? 7.4. 7 point, wow. If I catch anything over two pounds today, all my viewers are just gonna be so excited because I usually catch one pounders. That's what I, you gotta go through the small ones to get to That's it. true. I've been going through the small ones my whole life. <laughs> oh, I got a rock. All right, let's see. Is it gonna be possible to skip an eight inch worm? <laughs> let's not try that again. Oh, don't tell me. I'm gonna put this reel out of commission this early. That spot looks really froggy. It hurts me to like watch you guys throw into these spots and I'm over here just picking this backlash out. <sighs> it's it's gonna take too much time to fix this. And you got braid on there. Yeah, we're gonna have to put the big worm away for now. That's all right, I'm pretty confident in the other baits I have in this bag though. First break the skunk off the boat. Gonna throw a five inch ion. Ooh, that dock is looking nice. All right, y'all, I have this crazy idea. Just hear me out, okay? What if we just cast and then we just catch some fish. Dude, that's crazy. There I've never go. heard that before. This ion has a nice fall rate. Nice slow shimmy. Okay, we are undergoing a sketchy tunnel crossing. A 
Oh yeah. There oh. it is. Oh no. Oh, that was a PV stick. Yeah. There it is. Congratulations. You just caught my PV. Oh, that's better. Maybe. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that's two uh, sub one pounders for Hunter. We're gonna have to go a little aggressive, okay? And I got a couple of these baits. Let's start off with a net bite pack of slam. Green pumpkin, watermelon. I saw an iCast. They made baits with bait fuel injected inside of it. That's what I'm fishing right now. Really? Yeah. That's sick. Does this not look like it's gonna get bit? Yeah, it is quite blinding around this corner. Can't see much. <laughs> See, you boys don't know what's coming. All I need to do is catch that one one ounce bass and then I'm, I'm ready. Ooh, yeah. What? That was crazy. Dude, I was just reeling it in. All righty. Let's go. Okay, I'm glad green pumpkin works at least because I got a lot of green pumpkin baits today. But there is our first oh, decent four pounder. If you guys think otherwise, just it's this a camera distortion. Oh, thank the Lord. Woo. I think what I'm gonna do is, once I catch a fish on a bait, I'm gonna move on to another bait, just to showcase as many of them to you all. Hmm, all right, what's next? Let's just reach in for a goodie. Okay, here we go. Bay bug. Hmm, and this is in June bug. This is our special color of today, but it is not our special weapon. So, we know that there are bluegill, at least in this lake, so. If we can imitate those, that'll be good for us. This bait reminds me a lot of a pit boss by Berkeley. When I first got started fishing, that was literally all I threw because that's all I could afford it, but. Here we go. Oh yeah. Ah. Woo. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Oh, yes. What do you guys think? Am I in the lead? He's got the biggest so far. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. They're all the same size, mostly. You guys want to call it a tie so far between Hunter and I? All right, cool. You guys are being so nice to me. Yeah, that's about a pound. Yes, on the June bug, the bee bug. Let's put on a mega baba. Eight inch worm. Yes, please. Catch the big ones. Maybe even some small ones. This looks good. Look at the tail as it kicks down. Oh no, that just went deep into the trees. No way. No way. No way. Yes, yes. Oh, on the eight inch worm. What? <laughs> Look at how he's skating in. All right, buddy. He really wanted that. If you told me I'd be catching fish on big worms today, I'd probably believe you, but <laughs> just a little background. I don't really fish big worms that much, so pretty excited. That mega bopper got destroyed and he hung on it for a long time. That's kind of what I'm noticing with these bait fuel baits. See you, buddy. I'm not the best at sensing bites, but what this bait fuel does is once these fish bite down on it, ooh, they don't let go. Just gives me those extra few seconds that really make a difference. Now that we're at the dam end, the death will drop off drastically. There's one bait I know that I can counter that, and that is the drop shot. Good news is we have a plethora of drop shot baits to choose from. Woo, okay. One, two, three, four. All right, Hunter, pick a number between one and four. Three. Three? All right, looks like we're going with the flat-sided shad shiner color. Now this stuff, guys, it's a confirmed fish catching machine. There was one time where I went out in the middle of winter. Michael can confirm. We were just, you know, having a little trouble catching some fish in this huge lake with crystal clear water. And I tie and I put on one of these flat sided shads and whoo, it was lights out from then on. Just continuous fish one after the other. As the sun gets higher, these bass will become more predictable. Oh no! That was a good one. Oh, get back in there, bro. Yeah, he took the flat sided shed. Dude, I don't even know. Did not give me a chance. Probably inhaled it before I even realized. Oh, that's the tricky thing about these finesse baits. Ryan doesn't know how to fish them well. Actually, I can't fish any bait that well. There he is. Oh, 
finally got him. Woo! Okay, so the secret weapon, guys, it catches both tiny and big fish, okay? Oh yeah? Doubled up, baby. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think we can fatten up your bass real quick. <laughs> My guy almost fits in yours. But guys, from this angle, mine looks huge. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Yeah, oh, I'm forgetting how to fight a fish. Here we go. Woo! I'm making Jeremy Wade proud, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You want to go for it? Let's go. Let's go. That puts me in the lead. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah. See, look, this is good sportsmanship right here. We're having a competition, yet he still lands the fish for me. We'll catch a bigger one for sure, I hope. <laughs> you, sir, get a nice torpedo release. You know what? I'm going to throw a drop shot, but I'm going to go ahead and switch up the bait. A personal favorite of mine, crush worm. 3.75 inch. Man, drop shot baits are so exact. When I first picked up Hunter's Boone Green Rod, it was like so much fun my body to Oh yeah. I do like the Green Series. I abused them when I was in Florida. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, on the crush worm, baby. Y'all don't sleep on the drop shot during the summer time. That ain't gonna break no records or anything, but uh, gosh, that was immediate. That actually got bit way quicker than the flat side shed, but it is a different area. See you later, buddy. I love the clamshell packaging. Ryan, have you oh, I don't even know. I, I'm not really keeping track. 2.75 drifter. And these guys are real interesting because they got some eyes on them. And these are supposed to imitate a goby, which is like a northern bait fish. Apparently they work really well in Florida, according to one of my buddies. So I'm gonna find out if that's true. Ooh, that shade feels lovely. I'm honestly pretty shocked that I have the lead right now, but all it takes is one fish and these guys can just be leagues and pounds ahead of me. There we go, baby. Ah. Oh. There he is. Hello. That's a 12 pounder. Oh no, shook off my drifter. Oh look, it's still there. <gasps> Alrighty, oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh no, YouTube's gonna take this video down for mistreatment of animals. Well, there's a little taco right there. Drifter is knocked off. How many baits do I even have here? I think I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 packs of baits here. So got a fish on more than six baits, I believe. Oh, all right, next up, okay. Green pumpkin, 4.5 inch flat sided shad. Y'all, a little trick for you is if you guys are just having a slow bite going on, all you gotta do is just sit down Barely pay attention, and then the fish will just come. I think I got one, dude. I think they're eating it at least. Oh yeah, launch it out. The boys are working the shallows. I will just start picking apart the deep. Oh, no way! Yes! The guys, they're out in the middle. Throw out there. Offshore, dude, that's the most like satisfying fish to catch ever. Not huge, but the way he hit though, Felt a lot bigger, <laughs> not gonna lie. Hmm, what to throw now? Ooh, Alabama bee bug. I love how I haven't retied anything at all. Guys, don't be me. Retie. Ooh, this is a nice color. Alabama swirl. This might be a good offshore fishing bait. Mm, mm mm that just looks good. If I was a bass, I'd personally eat this. You know, I'm not gonna try and make these decisions for these bass. It's a free country. They can decide what they wanna eat or what they don't wanna. But personally, this is it right here. A giant is about to be caught. Oh, dude, this thing skips so well. Oh, cicada. A bass is gonna blow up on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no. That would have been so sick if bass came up. No way. No! Oh, you had one? Yeah, I had one. Again, that's what I'm talking about. These fish, when they grab onto it, they don't let go. Even when I'm just so bad at... There he is. There yep. See? Nice. What did I tell you? I'm a true believer that this Bayfield stuff is just... does something different. This is the same fish 
that ate me earlier. I missed the hook set. He came back for it, held on to it for so long. I'm actually gonna throw this bait for a little bit more because I think it stands out in this stained water. Gonna catch us a big one eventually. Yeah, so uh, it has come to my attention that this whole time Hunter had a banana in the boat. And if you guys don't know the myth about, or I don't even know if it's a myth or not, but apparently when you have a banana in the boat, it's not good luck. I think my next YouTube video just needs to, wait, actually no, because I usually don't catch good fish anyways, and I never carry bananas with me. So it has to be, okay, maybe I'm just a bad fisherman. 12 o'clock, fish have stopped biting. What are my thoughts on these baits? Do they help you catch more fish? It's honestly a little hard to tell because all of us caught quite a few today. But one thing that is true and stands firm is that the bait field does not deter the bass from biting. And from what I noticed, it just seems like these bass just hold on a lot longer to these baits. That being said, I hope you didn't come here expecting a full comprehensive review. I'm gonna continue to fish with these on my channel and I just want you guys to form your own thoughts on this product. I will say though, having some baits that don't smell like garlic or shrimp is a nice change of pace, especially when it still has some fish attractant on it. But now the boys and I are gonna focus our time and effort on catching a legendary bluegill. Oh.